Hello, everyone. My name is Yong Kang He. As you can see from the screen, I very much love Kubernetes, and I also love Azure Cloud. So I'm 11 times Azure Cloud certified and also fully certified on Kubernetes. Today, I'm very happy to share how to automate uh, AKS Kubernetes 1.25 on Azure Cloud. Use just one command in about four minutes. Let's get started. So I will give you a live demo to show you how it works. If you don't have a AKS Azure Cloud account yet, you actually you can follow the link here on the screen to spin up a trial account in about five minutes. And once you have the trial account ready, so the next step is how you can build that ready to use the demo library environment. Use just one command in about four to four minutes. And once you've done your testing, you can destroy or clean up the whole environment in about you know, 10 minutes also, just one command. So on the bottom of the screen, you can see, and AKS actually is the third major cloud provider offering managed Kubernetes 1.5. If you're curious, uh, who is the first, who is the second? So Google GK is the first. I got a YouTube video about GK 1.25 earlier. And I also have the IBM Cloud IKS. That's the second 1.25 to manage Kubernetes. Okay, let's get started. There are a little bit of the preparation tasks. So first of all, you log into Azure portal, you open up a, a cloud shell. It's the icon next to the search box. And then you clone the repository from my GitHub page. And after that, you can and basically, if you choose to, you can customize the class name, the VM size, the region or zone, but you don't have to. So now once you clone the repository, all you need to do is just run aks-deploy.sh. We're going to create an AKS cluster from a command line. We're going to deploy a PostgreSQL sample database to AKS cluster. Let me jump to the Azure portal. So I logged into Azure portal. Uh, first of all, you need to click the link next to the search box to launch the cloud shell. Once you launch the cloud shell, you can make it bigger. Uh, once the cloud shell is ready, you can go to my GitHub page so if you go to my GitHub page, and it is publicly available. You can click on the link AKS Casa if it wasn't listed here. So because you're only allowed to uh, ping six of the repository here, if it wasn't listed here, you can do the search from the uh, search box, or you can just click the repository. You can find the, uh, the AKS dash Casa. You click into the repository. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see, yeah, I do have the YouTube video to show you. Actually, that was my daughter recorded this video, five minutes to create a free trial account on Microsoft Azure. And once you open up a cloud shell, you just copy the command to clone the repository and paste to the cloud shell. Once this command finish, you come back to the GitHub page. So I'm going to deploy an AKS cluster with a PostgreSQL. So you just copy this command, aks-deploy.sh, press enter. So once you've done these steps, you just need to wait about five minutes. So we're going to have an AKS cluster up running and also have the PostgreSQL sample database deployed as well. So if you are interested, if you log into AKS console, if you do a refresh, you can see they had, right now, I don't have the cluster yet, but shortly we're going to see the AKS cluster will be created showing up here. So just to show you a little bit of the my GitHub page and why we're waiting for the cluster ready. So once you've done your testing, you actually you can destroy or clean up the whole environment just run the AKS-destroy.sh. If you are interested to create an AKS cluster from a uh, wider Azure portal, I also have a YouTube video to show you how to build an AKS cluster and deploy a sample application. And a little bit more information about how to build the protect and migrate containers. Yeah, it's a playlist if you're interested. 
And towards the bottom of the screen, you can see Cloud Castle. That's the best uh, Kubernetes backup of the service. Once you have the cluster ready, you can explore some other uh, backup tools. Uh, I guess, yeah, it does take about five minutes. So let me check what is, yeah, it take a couple of minutes. Let me pause here. We will come back shortly. Yeah, it looks like the cluster is uh, creating, still creating, but it is uh, almost done. So we're now, yeah, just finished deploy of the PostgreSQL sample database. Uh, towards the bottom of the screen, you can see the total time to build the AKS cluster with PostgreSQL just under four minutes. It is amazingly fast, actually. Uh, I think Microsoft did a great job to enhance their uh, capability to optimize. It is now actually running faster than the uh, Google Cloud GKE cluster. Now let's verify what we created just now. If I run kubectl get nodes, you can see we just created the one node, 1.25 uh, AKS cluster. And uh, if you want to verify some additional details, get namespace, you can see I got a PostgreSQL running here as well. Uh, let's run another verification. And let's say I want to check all the ports you can see my PostgreSQL sample database also up running. If you want to verify from the web console, do a refresh from Azure portal. So you can see my AKS cluster is running here. It's running 1.25.4. And uh, click the cluster details. Yeah, you can verify the same thing from similar, like the command line, like uh, all of my names, but it's listed here. Yeah, it is a little bit slow, yeah. I've got the PostgreSQL here. If you click the details, you can see the PostgreSQL, uh, the details are also listed here. The YAML file, how we are going to create the PostgreSQL sample database. If I go back to the last screen, you can also, under the workloads, you can filter, I believe you can filter the namespace. Let's say what's inside of my PostgreSQL sample database. Uh, deployment, it's not a deployment, it's on the ports, okay? I select the field my namespace. You can see my PostgreSQL ports also up running. So basically that is uh, so fast. Uh, just under four minutes, we created, we already automated the AKS cluster, also have the PostgreSQL sample database deployed. Let me come back to the slide deck. So we just deployed uh, AKS cluster. We verified it's a one node 1.25 and the PostgreSQL also has been installed successfully altogether under four minutes. It is amazingly fast. Now, once you've done all of your testing, if you want to destroy, you just run AKS-destroy, AKS. Or if you don't want to type, you can go back to the GitHub page, copy the destroy command, and then paste to the cloud shell, destroy. So this step actually takes a longer time comparing you create the cluster four minutes, but if you destroy, clean up the whole environment, it takes about 10 minutes. I'm not going to wait to this finish. Let me come back to the slide deck. Yeah, just to share you a few reference links. Uh, so the first one is uh, how to sign up a uh, try account. And the second one is uh, how uh, my automation source code, it's available from GitHub page, the official AKS documentation. And the last one is if you're interested to build an AKS cluster from a web portal, and I got the YouTube link, the video to show you how to create from the a portal. So before I wrap up today's session, just to highlight, there are a few day two challenges for customers using Kubernetes clusters running their containers. So the number one is how to back up your containers on AKS. I do have a YouTube video to show you how you can leverage the best Kubernetes backup as a service tool to back up your containers. And secondly, how to increase your security postures for your containers running on AKS. And there are a lot of tools that allow you to secure your containers. So here I listed the two tools here. One is by Cloud Casa. I got a YouTube video to show you how it works. 
Yeah, it wasn't created for AKS, but the same concept, the same tools can be used for AKS cluster to secure the containers on AKS. The other one is how to secure uh, the containers via Fargo. That's the open source cloud native runtime threat detection tool. Last but not least, uh, most of the time, you might want to move the containers from our own premises uh, to AKS, for example, or maybe from our uh, one region to another region, or maybe one availability zone to another AZ, or could be from other cloud to AKS, or maybe from other Kubernetes distribution to AKS. Uh, I do have a playlist uh, listed here. Yeah, you can learn a little bit more about how to migrate the containers to AKS. I think that's all for today. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope it is useful to you.